Hey everyone, it's Nicole here for Simon Says Stamp with some December Punny Picture Book Cards. December is a wonderful month-long celebration at Simon Says Stamp where we celebrate all things die cutting. And these cards feature tons and tons of new dies from the December release as well as a few other dies from Simon Says Stamp. These are all exclusive to Simon Says Stamp, and everything on this card, except for the small punny phrase, has been die cut instead of stamped. We're going to start with the awesome new holiday knit background. I've die cut this from some fog cardstock from Simon Says Stamp, and I'm backing it with a little stick it double sided adhesive and this is going to make it super easy to do an inlay style. So I'm simply using a little tool here to pick up all of these small die cut pieces and doing an inlay. This is probably the most time consuming part of this card, however I think it really makes the design. Um, creating a beautiful background often just ties the entire card together. You wanna to save a little time and not do the inlay, I would suggest trimming a piece of card stock to the same size as this panel. It is approximately four inches by five and a quarter, um, maybe just a little bit smaller. I know I trimmed my stick it adhesive just a little bit smaller than this and then placing it behind for that two-tone look. In fact, the panels that I'm using to do the inlay, so the red and the green, I'll be using the green for all of the little dots there, those I am not throwing away. I did not use them for my project here, but you will see those in projects later on this month, so it'll give you a whole nother way to use the background. I'm going to continue to pick up all of these pieces and do the inlay. You can see as I get more and more of the little pieces placed how beautiful the background is. You could do this in any color combination you choose. I tended to keep mine a little bit on the lighter side except for the uh, kind of florally background here. And that is just to make my picture book animals really shine but I think this would be beautiful as the focal point of a card as well and not just as a background. I love this design. I'm a quilter too, and so this design really speaks to me because I think it looks like a quilt. I think it's so, so pretty. Really excited about this background. So I'm going to continue to add all these little pieces in. Once we get all of the red floral in, I did die cut this panel from green cardstock then, and then all of those teeny tiny little dots I'm going to place inside. You would not have to do this. You could really leave it as is. Um, another idea, take Nouveau Crystal Drops or another product similar to that, and fill in all of those little um, circle areas and that would save a little bit time and alleviate any of the inlay. If inlay is not your thing, there are lots of different options rather than this. I tend to kind of like inlay, so I went ahead and did that for my backgrounds, but I did want to share some additional ideas. Now once I have it inlaid, I did run it through my die cutting machine again and that just kind of smushes everything together really good and then I peeled off the stick it backing because it's double sided adhesive and I'm going to pop this in place right on a top fold card base. We're going to be designing the panda card first and we're going to build up our little uh, panda here kind of standing along the bottom edge of the design. In fact, another idea, if you love the inlay but don't want to do all the work and you're using a large die cut like I'm using today, you really wouldn't have to do any of the inlay back behind where the panda is. And if I had thought of that before doing all of that work, I probably would have done that um, simply because you can hide a lot of that. I'm going to take a big picture book body now there are so many options for these big picture book bodies. This is the big picture book medium body. 
I did all my die cutting off camera to save time today. Now I am attaching my picture book character with foam adhesive for this design. And that's because he's large and I think it works really well. The foam adhesive, again, double-sided. So it's going to work to not only adhere my panda to the card, but we can also do our inlay for the eye areas, the nose, all of those little things. So I am simply building this up. The big picture book panda is new for Die Simber. I love that there is so many different body options for the picture book series now. So you can choose anything that works for your design. This was very simple, all die cut from black and white. The hat is from the new picture book Santa Pup. So I only did a cat version, that'll be the next card I share with you, but you could do a pup version as well. And I just took the hat from this and popped it on to my panda to give it more of a holiday feel. Don't wanna do a holiday card? Switch up your colors in the background, leave the hat off, and put something different into the panda's arms to hold and you instantly have a card for another occasion. Um, maybe you use a heart, maybe you do a gift package or whatever. You can do all kinds of different things. I have been dying to use this candy cane. It's one of the only things from the December 2018 Simon Says Stamp card kit I hadn't used yet and I love it. I thought the size and scale was perfect for placing in the panda's arms to look like he is holding these candy canes. I die cut the candy canes from a combination of white glitter and then red cardstock, and I'm doing inlay again here. The bow is gonna be from some red sparkly glitter cardstock for a little bit of that uh, different contrast to the red cardstock from the candy cane. I should mention too, the Santa hat was red cardstock and white glitter cardstock. Same reason for the white on the pom-pom and then the brim of the hat. The reason I die cut it from glitter was so that it really stood out from the white of the panda bear. I'm gonna play around and fuss with the bow here in the panda's arms, but look how cute that is. Look how fantastic that finishes off the candy cane design. It really ties the whole thing together beautifully. Next, I want to add my sentiment to my card. I am taking a sentiment from the Punny Animals Sentiment Stamp Set. This was released one or two releases ago, um, so still very, very new, but it works with all the picture book series. I originally thought I would stamp this on white cardstock with green ink, but I really felt like I needed a, more of a green presence. We've got all the little green in the background of the card. So I stamped my sentiment on Noble Fur Lawn Fawn cardstock with clear embossing ink, embossed with white embossing powder, and then die cut with a nested banners die. The new nested banners comes with tons and tons of incredible dies for any size banner you could need. I love this because I think it instantly adds that little banner touch that we all love. This has little notched ends, so it's perfect. It fits the Your Pandatastic sentiment perfectly. I'm gonna pop up my sentiment with a little foam adhesive right there along the bottom edge of the card. The green cardstock makes all of the difference. It really just ties the whole thing together. I added glossy accents to the panda's nose to make it glossy, and once that's dry, I will take a white pin and add a little highlight detail to the nose, but otherwise, that finishes off the first card today. My second card features the same background. I went ahead and did that off camera, but it was the inlay as well, and I have die cut all of my elements for this card off camera to save time. We're going to build this one using the picture book Santa Cat. Now you could very, very easily just switch out the head and use the Santa Pup. You could create multiples of this. So much fun. The new big picture book little body I think works well with this. At first I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it or not, but it, I ended up really thinking it turned out super cute and I really like the whole design, 
I thought it was really important to tie the two cards together and also just to round out the design to put something in the cat's arms to be holding. And so I went through my Simon Says Stamp dies looking for the perfect size and scale of icons. And the Christmas icons from, I think it's the Stamp Timber release, so again, another very new product, were perfect. The little tree, the candy cane, I loved those. So again, we're tucking some cute little Christmas icons into the cat's arms. You could very easily switch this out with other icons um, if you're using a different head. This one obviously has the Santa hat, so this one is more that Christmas feel. But if you're using a different picture book image, you could switch this up very, very easily. So we've got a little tree. I did implement some regular cardstock, glitter cardstock. I think um, glitter cardstock is always a nice addition. For me, pretty much any time, but especially the holidays, I love the addition of that. It gives a little bit of sparkle and adds to that holiday feel. Glossy accents for the nose again, some little white highlights on the eyes, and that's going to really kind of round out the cat. Now, something I did not add, but I do want to mention, there are tails available for the picture book animals, and I think that the curvy uh, cat tail might be cute, kind of over to the left here on this design. I didn't use it, and I haven't checked the size and scale of it, but if you have those, because those are from a previous release, you might try those with this picture book body um, and see if you like it. The new thank you script was die cut from Smooth White Cardstock Adhere to Fun Foam with Stick It Adhesive. Popped there in place and then again a sentiment was stamped on a nested banner using those punny um, uh, animal sayings. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for these holiday themed big picture book punny die or cards featuring the die simber release from Simon Says Stamp. The supplies I use to create my cards are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring Simon Says Stamp that you might be interested in. Thank you guys so much for joining me today, and we'll catch you next time.